नमस्कार इट्स मी राजू गौतम वेलकम टू आर सेकेंड एपिसोड ऑफ डिजिटल क्लास सो आई एम ए टीचर ऑफ प्राइमरी लेवल एंड आई एम टीचिंग साइंस इन विश्वती टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच फॉर सेकेंड एपिसोड ऑफ क्लास थ्री सब्जेक्ट साइंस यूनिट इज टू एंड द टॉपिक नेम इज सेल्टर ऑफ एनिमल्स अगेन इस वेरी केयरफुली सेल्टर ऑफ एनिमल्स नाउ डियर स्टूडेंट्स प्लीज रिमेम्बर वन थिंग दैट ईच एंड एवरी एनिमल्स ईच एंड एवरी एनिमल्स अगेन इस वेरी केयरफुली ईच एंड एवरी एनिमल्स दे नीड ए सेल्टर फॉर लिविंग लाइक आस माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स यू और इधर मी और एनी अदर एनिमल्स दे नीड ए सेल्टर सेल्टर मीन्स होम ऑफ एनिमल्स वी आर ऑल्सो एन एनिमल वी आर कॉल्ड ए सोशल एनिमल सो सेल्टर इज ए होम ऑफ एनिमल्स आई थिंक यू आर क्लियर विद दिस वर्ड सेल्टर नाउ सेल्टर मीन्स ए होम ऑफ एनिमल्स होम ओके लाइक यू लिव इन योर होम मी आई लिव इन माई ओन होम सो सिमिलर लाइक दिस ऑल द एनिमल्स दे हैव गॉट देयर ओन होम्स नाउ some of the animals now my dear students you know it that some of the animals they live on land some of the animals they live inside the water now in water they are called aquatic animals similarly in water they are called aquatic animals many animals are found inside the water now water is the home of aquatic animals now those animals which live on land they are called terrestrial animals and <clears throat> they live in a shelter now basically my dear students you should know that most of the animals they build their own home by themselves most of them most of them they build their own home by themselves home means shelter please remember this one okay home means shelter now many animals they need a home and they build a home by themselves Today we are going to study about a certain animals which lives and makes their own types of homes and some of, of the animals they do not make their own homes like example i have given already in the previous <coughs> speech i have said that most of the animals they are found inside the water also aquatic animals aquatic animals they do not <coughs> need any home because they are living inside the water but other animals they need a home now let us discuss some of the animals they <coughs> live in their homes and what type of homes they have got what type of shelters they are called now some animals make their own home as i have said some animals make their own home now my dear students please see here point number 1 is there some animals make their own home this definition later on we can discuss now at first this one some animals make their own home now look at here sparrow i think the picture is not that much clear but sparrow a sparrow lives in a nest example a bird now you imagine that where do the birds live where do the birds live my dear students you know the answer that birds they live in <coughs> in the nest the birds they live in the nest second one a weaver bird you know very well this one a weaving bird lives in a nest they used to weave their nest by themselves okay in the betel nut tree you may have seen that long one nest okay that is weaved by the weaving bird similarly a woodpecker lives in a hole hole means not any type of hole not in a building hole or not in a <coughs> hole of anything but they used to make a hole inside the wood inside the wood okay now similarly a spider lives in a web my dear students you are very much familiar with the spider spider means makura in nepali they lives in what they lives in a webs let us demonstrate you like example here okay i'm going to make one webs very simple one and very easy to make webs like this look here my dear students this one it is called a spider web look like this they used to make a web spider web spiders they live here it is the home of a spider now <coughs> a solo solo means a bird lives in a muddy home they lives in a muddy home they they used to make a 
house okay means home with a muddy now next one termites <coughs> termites makes mound of sand mound of sand means uh, just like I would like to give you a demonstration another one okay just like this one mound here it will be a hole plenty of holes here it will be, it will be termites okay this will be a hole to go through in inside it this one it is made of a mud okay now that is called a mount okay this one it is called a mounds now <clears throat> i think this one is clear my dear students for you now next one we make home for some animals now some of the animals which are very much familiar and very much common to us which are staying along with us in our home or we used to rear them or <clears throat> we used to uh, make their houses now let us discuss about it we make home for some animals now what type of animals do we make homes for them example very good example my dear students you know the answer the answer is dog a dog <coughs> lives in a kennel cows okay now cows live in a shed you know very well isn't it even the buffalo they live in a shed horse they live in a stable i think you are very much clear with this type of homes a dog live in a kennel now similar like this hens live in a coof i think you know very well about it okay now this one now these are the some of the examples of animals for which we used to make their homes now next one some animals live in natural shelter shelter means home okay my dear students you should know this one shelter means what home of animals now some animals live in a natural shelter okay natural shelter like imagine lion where do you think that lion is going to live my dear students it is they live in a den okay the house of a lion is called a den they used to make their den by themselves no they do not make their home by themselves that's why it is called a natural shelter natural home okay example is here lions live in a den a monkey lives on a branches of a trees okay monkeys they live on the branches of a trees elephants also lives in uh, under the tree similarly like this a rabbit lives in a bureau now rabbits they live in a bureau snakes they live in a hole red also okay my dear students listen very carefully red are also they live in a hole now uh, reds they used to dig a hole and they used to make it by themselves okay now a fox live in a calf a fox also they live in a calf but similarly like this my dear students you should know that a fox also they used to build their home by themselves means they built their shelter by themselves that's why a fox lives in a cave inside the cave inside the cave of a mud okay they used to dig a mud and they used to live inside it now dear students here i have already said that some animals live in water okay now now water is very different my dear friend okay some animals live in water some animals they live in water now examples are here it's given crocodile hippopotamus fish seahorse octopus and whale now remember my dear friends that crocodile and hippopotamus they are amphibians okay they are amphibians means they do not live in water also but they can live on land also they do not live in water only but they can live on land also hippopotamus and crocodile okay these two but fish seahorse octopus and whale they live inside the water okay so that's why water is their what home okay water is the <coughs> shelter of the aquatic animals okay aquatic animals now these are the examples regarding the animals which live in water now next one my dear friends here some animals live in bushes and grasses now in bushes and grasses my dear students what type of animals they live inside the bushes and grasses basically we know that most of the insects they live inside the bushes or grasses most of the insects now here there it is given here scorpion scorpion here it is given and grasshopper that is called potengro okay scorpion means in nepali 
bitchi okay scorpion in nepali it is called a bitchi and grasshopper means potting row and here it is given here okay h a r e here here means rabbit okay why rabbit okay now this one now this one bushes okay and grasses but some of the birds also they live in in the bushes and grasses okay some of the birds it, it is it doesn't mean that all the birds they build a nest on the trees it does not mean that okay now some of the birds they live in the bushes and grasses okay bushes and grasses now these are very common now point number five here my dear students here it is given some animals carry their own home okay this is the one very good example for you for this one some animals carry their own home okay my dear students what are animals they used to carry their own home means the animals which carry their own homes on their back okay like snail snails is the best example for this one because snail why i'm saying snail because you are very much familiar and it is very much common and we can see it in our surrounding also snails they carry their own home there <coughs> you can see it on the top of that snail this one it is a hard shell inside this shell inside this shell this type of animals they stay in so that's why it is called their own home they used to carry next one very good example my dear student is tortoise or you can say it turtle also okay tortoise and turtle now they used to carry their own homes on their back they used to carry their own homes on their back now these are the examples some animals carry their own home means they carry their own home by themselves okay now home means shelter again i would like to remind you my dear students home means shelter because we are discussing about the shelter topic now next one this one is very common okay now my dear students i have said that animals they live in a shelter they live in what they live in shelter now similar like this i have said that some of the animals they live inside the water and most of them they live on the land now those animals which live on land okay which live on land they have got their own homes okay now they have got their own homes some of the animals they carry their own homes okay some of the animals they live in bushes or grasses some of the animals they build their own homes some of the animals live in the natural shelter shelter means home okay these things are the basic things and very important things that you should remember okay these are the basic things and the most important thing regarding this one is definition the place where animals live is called shelter okay as i have said that shelter means what home of animals okay home of animals okay now home of animals the place where animals live is called shelter okay shelter means home this should be common for you okay now home means common like <coughs> word home is common word shelter means home this you should know it now my dear students i have got certain homeworks for my dear students only certain homeworks only few i have given only a b c and d so that you can do it at home and let me know how much you have understood okay from this lesson because if i give you homework then <coughs> let me know how much you have understood and if you if i give you homework then i will know that you have understood or not okay now here question number one in your homework is what is shelter okay the definition is here okay the definition is here what is shelter next one where do fishes live just now i've said that aquatic animals they live in the water fish here where do they live they live inside the water okay they live inside the water next one why why do animals need shelter now my dear students most of the animals they carry their homes okay but other animals they need a home animals they need a home to protect themselves either it may be from wind or from sun or from the rain or from the enemies okay again listen very carefully my dear students why do animals need shelter okay as there is no space to write down so i would like to remind you again animals they need shelter 
to protect themselves from rain okay sun wind enemies and so on you can ask help from your parents you can ask help from your parents now question number d this one homework very simple my dear students draw the pictures of any two animals okay draw the picture of any two animals with their shelter i need this one okay because draw the pictures of any two animals with their shelters because drawing is very one of the most interesting thing in science subject okay drawing is one of the most interesting thing in science subject okay my dear students please i would like to remind you again this will be your homework okay and let me know how much you have understood today okay how much you have understood today okay so be safe stay at home <coughs> and take care of yourself see you in next episode in episode number three until then namaskar